Hey everybody, welcome to another awesome After Effects CS6 tutorial. My name is Buddy Blackford, and today we're going to be going over the comparison between Z depth and scale. And I pretty much like to compare this in the real world to uh, a billboard. And pretty much when you're in the real world, and you're driving past in a car and you see a billboard you look at it and it looks fine it looks like it's crisp and you can read everything fine but if you ever have walked up close to a billboard you can see that it's been uh, blown out and it's scaled up really huge it's just a picture that's been uh, scaled massively so when you come up to it it's like looking at it like this if I zoom in on my um, if I oops, geez, if I zoom in on my uh, background here, you, you'll see that it's all pixelated and everything. I'm at 400%, and sometimes that's pretty much what a billboard might be uh, zoomed in as, and it'll look all like pixelated and stuff like this. Now I added this moon into here, and we're at 100% now, and. I color corrected it a little bit so it looked like it was something that was supposed to be in this scene. Now if you pretty much you, you can't tell but I have scaled this moon up hundred and fifty percent. Now if I try to scale that up a hundred per hundred and fifty percent in 2D mode it would look all blurry and crappy and everything. So let me uh, take off this 2D or 3D uh, mode right here, and I'm gonna have to pull this over so we can see it. But this is how much I scaled it, and it's you can see it's I'm at 100% right now. It's blurry in the middle. You can't really tell all the different things, and it's uh, the edges are all blurry too. So I'm gonna put it back where it was and then zoom, put it back into the 3D mode so it's back where it was and now you can't tell the reason that you can't tell is because I took the moon and I moved it back in Z space pretty far so let me pull up the position and I moved it back 3340 no 30, 33,482 I wanted this to be really far back because if I ever move the camera in, I don't want it to move. I don't want it to look like the uh, moon is actually moving when I move the camera in. Because that's not how it would work in the real world. And since it's so far back, I'm able to scale it up. I could probably even scale it up even more if I wanted to. Like, probably a lot because I have it back there pretty far. And it's... It, you can't tell that it's being scaled or if it's blurry on the edges so that's a uh, that's how I'm trying to explain this uh, z-depth versus, versus scale if you push something back in z-depth and then scale it up that's still okay if you have it close to the camera and you try to scale it up and it's closer to you in z-depth that's not okay it's going to make it pixelated and blurry so if you're trying to make something bigger but in a Z, in a 3D scene just you're going to have to either start with a large picture or you're going to have to adjust its uh, position in the Z depth and then scale it so that's pretty that's just a, a quick tip for you i just wanted to go over it hopefully that made sense and uh, just think of like the billboard analogy where if something's far away it can be scaled up and still look fine that's all I got for you in this quick tip but sometimes people don't realize this and can't figure out why their image is looking all crappy and everything so I'm going to just end the tutorial here and let you guys try that kind of stuff in your scene on your own so have a good one, guys. Keep on using After Effects to make awesome stuff, and I'll see you guys later.